Hey guys, I'm Tree and I make streamer support videos. So you got some cool pictures of yourself, maybe screenshots out of your stream, or just no money for an actual artist. I'm gonna show you how you can make emotes out of pictures. First thing you wanna pay attention to is lighting. If the lighting is bad, you cannot see the details of the face very well. And if you make the picture really small, you can't see what's going on in the emote at all. And the second thing you obviously need is a program to do it in. I would recommend using Photoshop or the free version GIMP. I'm gonna show you how to do it in Photoshop, but it will work similar in GIMP. Let's jump into Photoshop. The first thing you wanna do is open your document folder and search for the picture you wanna use. Drag it into Photoshop. This is the picture we're gonna use. We're gonna use the part of the picture and not this pixel art, which is actually an emote we have in our Twitch chat. <laughs> but we're gonna make an emote of uh, me too. So that's gonna be fun. So the first thing you wanna do is cut out things you don't want, uh, like this emote. We don't want to be in the emote, the background, the chair, just cut it out. How can we do that? Uh, we go to the selection tool and click on it, right click on it if, uh, if you don't see the quick selection tool. The tool is really big right now. If you want to make it smaller on the top left here, you can make the size smaller. If you want to zoom in on your picture, hold alt and then scroll. Make sure you don't zoom in too far because then you're going to see uh, little squares like this. And it's really hard to actually see what's going on in the picture when you see the squares. What we're going to do now is select the part that we want to use by just clicking and dragging over the part. This takes some tweaking. Like you see, we have some parts in here, like the chair. We don't really want to be in here. You can deselect them by going to the top here and click on this minus. If you hover over it now, it will delete them out of the selection. Like you see, it, it deselects too much now. Uh, to fix this, you can like lower the size of the brush because then it, it selects less at the same time. Sometimes it will not work uh, as well. And then you will have some space here left. Uh, we can fix that with, with just a eraser tool after. Like you see, this is not really a straight line. It doesn't matter because we're going to cut it off in the emote anyway. So what we do now is do Ctrl Shift I and then delete, which basically just deletes everything we didn't select it the first time. You reverse the selection and then delete the background, basically. Ctrl D to deselect the selection. Okay, so right now we have the part that we want to use. Uh, what we can do is we can like place it a little bit more in the middle. That works a bit nicer if you ask me. Um, it is a bit blurry, but it's not going to matter at all because if we zoom out, it is super sharp. The smarter it is, the sharper it's going to look. So right now what you see, the lines are a bit ugly. <laughs> uh, what I personally like to do is just using the eraser tool and go over these edges to make them a little bit more smooth and nice looking. I recommend doing it with like a smaller brush because otherwise it's pretty hard to like aim. <laughs> so I zoom in, make sure not to see these blocks because then you can't really see the image that well anymore. And just to follow the lines, like this. Make them look, this looks a lot better, right? At the sides here, it doesn't really matter. You can just like cut it on like pretty freely. If you made a mistake, Control Z will reset it. If you made two mistakes, Control Alt Z will reset it again. Control Z does only do like the last one and Alt Z will do the rest as well. So make sure to smoothen that all out. Like here we have like a little little part where it's harder to cut. I just make the brush smaller most of the time. Don't make it one pixel, that's really hard to do. <laughs> but make it like three or four pixels. You can also just type here by the way. You can just type like 20. Then the brush will become really big. So this is what we have now. It looks pretty smooth. We want to go to the crop tool next. Because we have all this unnecessary space here. So click on the crop tool and just select an area. Doesn't really matter what you have selected right now. Then you go up here, which says ratio. And you want to make it one by one because this will make it a perfect square. So now we have our perfect square. And if we drag it in or out, it will always be a perfect square. 
What you want to do now is just make it as small as possible. So you want to make the square super small without losing anything of the face. And to check this, you just press OK, the stick, and see if the emote looks good like this. We've got the hand in it, we got the face in it. We don't have too much of the shoulders because that will actually um, make the square bigger. And the, the smaller the square is, the better you can see the facial features when it's really small. Because the emo is just going to be like display super small and you want to see what's actually happening. So just make sure you don't have too much pace up here. You don't have too much pace on the left and the right. Don't, don't have too much shoulder in there. And um, you can zoom out to see how it looks like. If you think it's not sharp enough, what you can do is add a filter. Go to filters and go to sharpening and then uh, smart sharpening. Right here you can see how it looks like. This is a lot of sharpening, so we want to like probably set it down a bit. This is a pre preview, so you can see that this is a lot of sharpening, which looks really ugly. I would not recommend doing that much. <laughs> but adding a little bit of sharpening, um, it looks a bit ugly if you see it in here, but the moment you see it like super small, like, like this, you will see that you will see the facial expression a bit better. So I like to sharpen them. Also, the lighting of this picture is not really perfect. So what you do then is Control M. Then you get this box, and in here you can like change it. So like we can make it really dark, or we can just make it really ugly. <laughs> if you want to reset it, just click on Cancel and do it again. Control M. So you can make it more um, bright if you have a darker image. You can make it more dark if you have a really bright image. So I made it a little bit more dark. You can see this facial expression a bit better like this, if you ask me. What we do now is make sure to save this. Save as a, a Photoshop file. And what you do after is you can also save it as a PNG, to be sure. Now we need to make different sizes, because we need one from 112p, one of 56p, and one of 28p. And they need to be all the same. So what we need to do now is go to image and then image size. And make sure they're locked because this is a perfect square, it will automatically get the same number here. And then type 112. And then okay, it will become really small. Okay, this is really creepy. But it will become really small. Uh, and you can save this again as a PNG. So you save this one, then you go back to images, image size, and type 56. And then okay. Now it will not creep us out. <laughs> So make sure to save this one as well as a PNG. And then last one, uh, we need to do it again for the 28P. It becomes smaller again, we save it. And it's saved. You've got a beautiful emote now, congratulations. What do you want the next video to be about? Leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click the little bell icon for notifications. And I'll see you in the next video.